Hey guys, so I wanted to make this video because I think that it's really important for anyone, any girls who are interested in getting into strength training and in particular powerlifting who have some preconceived idea that strength training or powerlifting is going to make them overweight or fat or bulky or whatever, however they're going to say it. I find even with girls who I'm training now or girls who I do powerlifting with, they still in the back of their mind have that little idea that maybe they should be doing more cardio or maybe they should be doing higher reps or something to lose fat and I wanted to share with you guys my journey from doing bodybuilding to doing powerlifting and how I have come to just love powerlifting and what it's actually done for my body and how much better I feel now that, I've do that I'm doing powerlifting. You'll see in the timeline that I made, I started off probably in 2012, started having a play around with weights. I just found like an online program and started doing that and then in October of 2012 I contacted a coach and did my first bodybuilding show. So I competed in the fitness slash bikini category and I did pretty well in that. I came second in that in my first show, which was great and it was a good experience and I had a lot of fun. Um, but looking back now, I, you know, I never even, I don't think I even did bench press, like barbell bench press properly or deadlifts. I definitely wasn't strong. I feel like that first show was just a diet contest. So I got really, really lean. I didn't have as much muscle as I do now. So I weighed about 47 to 48 kilos when I was on stage, which is tiny. Like I'm very, I'm short, but that's pretty, pretty small. After that show, I tried to build my physique a little bit more. In that next year, I put on a little bit of muscle and tried to do my first figure show in 2013. So a year later, which I did and I tried my best to put on muscle and get lean without being too restrictive and cutting my calories down to nothing. So. For that show, I was about 50 kilos the morning of comp, I think. Uh, I got a call out, which was good for my first figure show, but if I was wanting to move forward with that, I needed to put on more muscle, but then get way, way leaner. So really, I wasn't lean enough to do well in a figure show. So after that, I'd been training pretty consistently for a while, and with bodybuilding, I found that you know, even when you are getting lean and you look great, you, at the time, you don't think you do. You're thinking, you know, I could be a little bit leaner. Am I going to look good on stage? All these things going through your head. So you're never happy with the way you look when you're doing bodybuilding is what I found. Other people have different experiences, but for me, it was 16 to 20 weeks of intense dieting where I was never happy with the result until the one comp day where I was happy. And then after that, I just binged so badly. I'd been dieting hard for you know 16 to 20 weeks. That's a long time. Whilst it taught me how to be strict, which now I appreciate a little bit more that I can be strict with some things. It also taught me you know to binge eat. So after that show, I was just, I was, by that time, I was just sick of training because you're not training for any specific purpose. You're constantly looking at yourself in the mirror and thinking, hey, do I look good enough? Have I put on any muscle? You're constantly just scrutinizing yourself. So training is just to make yourself look better. And I, by that time, I just hated training. I just stopped training altogether and was just binge eating. I just like kept, kept going, would eat whatever I wanted wasn't training and I think you know that was because I just hated the training that I was doing it wasn't fun at all I wasn't hitting any training PBs or anything like that I was weak by the time I competed so getting back into training I wasn't very strong at all that's why I stopped pretty much um, and then of course if you eat crap and don't do any exercise especially if you've gone to a point where you're eating really minimal calories I just like exploded and put on heaps of weight. I went from weighing like 50 kilos to probably, I would have put on like 10 to 15 kilos maybe. So, and none of it was muscle because I wasn't training. So just put on all this fat, 
just like hating life really like um, gone from you know being lean and also the expectation was there you know that I'd done a bigger show so that I should look like that um, and then just putting on all this weight and not training it just like was horrible and then I sort of obviously had some time off and I thought you know what I want to get back into it now but I don't want to focus on the way I look I'm just going to focus on getting stronger and being consistent and that's what I did so in about October 2014 is when I decided you know what, I'm just gonna go to the gym I started doing I uh, didn't know a lot about powerlifting but I started doing like a five by five program with squats bench and deadlift on different days and I thought you know what I'm just gonna give this a go for a while and try and get stronger and see how far I can get and that's what I did and I started getting into training and I started seeing you know small results here and there and I really started liking it again and I love training I love strength training and I started that spark sort of like came back as I was training I was you know more motivated to eat a bit more healthily and be more consistent and I think that's the biggest thing is like consistency um, which I'll talk about a little bit later but then in February 2015 so the start of this year I thought this is awesome by then I'd probably lost like five to seven kilos just from eating more consistently healthily and you know doing some strength training and I thought okay I really like this I really want to get into powerlifting what can I do next so I sought out my coach Nick Dawn from strength sports gym and went in there and did a session there and that day Nick he sort of had a look at my technique and we tested my 1RMs and on that day I did a 100 kilo squat I was so excited and I was like yes this is what I want to do this is so fun I did a 62.5 kilo uh, I think touch and go bench press and then I didn't test my deadlift but around then my deadlift was like 105 to 110 kilo and at that time by the time I saw Nick and I'd been training for a little while dieting a bit more I was down to about 57 kilos and I thought okay cool so when I do my first powerlifting comp I'll be in the 57 kilo class and I'll just slot right in there then I started training with Nick just like absolutely loving it every day was you know every training day was a new training PB and, and I never trained like that before in bodybuilding you know you sort of do the same thing all the time whereas with powerlifting it's a little bit different your programs changing every week and you're hitting new goals and things are like chopping and changing um, all the time so I worked up to my first powerlifting comp which was in May of 2015 and by that time I because I was being more consistent with my training and my diet, I was about 54 kilos at that comp. So I competed in the 57 kilo class. And on that day, I squatted 107.5, which is a PB, benched 65 with the pause bench as you do in comps. And I went for the junior 57 kilo record at the time, which was 140 kilos. So I'd gone from thinking that I wasn't very good at deadlifts, deadlifting maybe 105 kilos to 140 kilos on my first comp ever. And that was just like the best feeling ever. I was so excited. And that was when I was like, I love this. I wanna, you know, keep going. I haven't told anybody this, but when I first started um, trying to get a bit stronger, I had in my head like 140 kilo deadlift. That's like my lifetime goal. That's what I want to hit one day, you know, who knows how old I'll be, but that's my lifetime goal, 140 kilos. And then in my first comp in May, I hit that and I was just like over the moon, like so excited. Then since then, um, it was the next stop was Junior Nationals in August, where I was the 52 kilo junior champion and I broke all the 52 kilo junior records. So I squatted 112.5 benched 66.5 and deadlifted 146 and yeah broke the records there and but this is my first comp where I decided that I was going to try and get into the 52 kilo division so I did a little bit more dieting tweaked around with my diet a little and got into the 52 kilo class which was a massive thing like when I competed in figure I weighed like 50 kilos and I killed myself 
to get to that point. I was dieting for like 20 weeks, I was doing cardio, I was, you know, miserable, hating life. Fast forward to now where I can sit around about 53, 54 kilos and, you know, have treats when I want to. I eat consistently well, but, you know, if I want to have a treat, I will. And like, I love going out on the weekends, having burgers and chicken wings and whatever. Like, I'm so much more happier. And then if I want to cut down to 52 kilos for a comp, you know, it takes me like one and a half, two weeks instead of like 20 weeks when I was doing bodybuilding. And then I had my sights set on the Commonwealth Champs in Canada, which, where I went and I competed as a 52 kilo again, which I hopefully I'll stay in the 52s for a long time now, where I got um, third overall, so bronze medal overall, and I got first in the bench press. So in Canada, I squatted 117.5, benched 72.5, and I deadlifted um, 145 again and um, just missed my last deadlift, which I was trying to go for second place, but I couldn't quite get next time. So, you know, in a year of powerlifting, I've put 17.5 kilos on my squat, 10 kilos on my bench, and 40, 35 kilos on my deadlift. And I've lost, since February, like five kilos of fat, and I've gained muscle at the same time. So. What I'm trying to say is powerlifting and lifting heavy is definitely not going to make you bulky or fat or any of those things. You know, the stuff that is going to make you bulky is if you overeat and do that for a long period of time or whatever. The way to maintain like a healthy lifestyle now for me is just being consistent and that's the biggest thing. Like girls say, oh yeah, I got really lean for so and so event but then my strength went down. And I'm like, yeah, that's because you just killed yourself for three weeks, you know, doing cardio and not eating enough. Of course your strength's gonna go down. You know, it's really about consistency. You have to be consistent um, for like a long period of time. So, you know, since I started losing weight, it's been like over a year. So that's how I've been able to now maintain, you know, about 53, 54 kilos. You know, I've just finished my comp. I'm like 52 and a half at the moment. So. You just need to be consistent. It's not gonna happen over, overnight. And the other thing that I wanna stress is like don't obsess. Like if you want to, if you have a goal in mind, don't jump on the scales in the morning and then jump on the scales after you had lunch and then jump on the scales before you go to bed at night. Like just let go of the scales for a little bit. Just be consistent, train hard, focus on your strength goals. Because I guarantee you, if you get stronger and you're deadlifting 100 kilos every session, of course your body's expending energy to do that. Of course, you know, you're gonna burn more calories than if you're just like walking on the treadmill doing faster cardio in the morning. The main thing is just being consistent and not putting like so much pressure on yourself. It'll happen over time, okay? You can, ha and you can treat yourself every now and then, like of course, I always do. But the thing I hate is when people say, oh yeah, but you're small and you treat yourself, that's because you're little, like you're, you're not gonna put on weight. No, I started from, you know, not even a year ago, like being big for me and, you know, not even training to building it back up, doing it the right way and then my body has reacted and I'm looking like the healthiest and fittest I have and I'm enjoying my training, I love it and I'm hitting PBs all the time. So just be consistent, train hard and it will happen. I hope this video was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. You can put them on Instagram or leave them in the comments below. Even if it's just for my hard yards girls, I hope this helps you because powerlifting has been like such a big thing in my life and it's only just started and it's like the best thing ever. So I just want everyone else to feel what I'm feeling now and be able to be happy with themselves and get super strong. So bye.